Thirteen hundred hours, Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Hassan Gilani. First, the headlines. President has sought a consensus name from Prime Minister and leader of the opposition in the outgoing National Assembly for caretaker Prime Minister. Chairman of PPP has prayed the Chief Justice to constitute a full court to decide about the ruling of the Deputy Speaker on no confidence motion. The United Nations has called for an independent probe into the civilian killings in Bucha town of Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Pakistan and Australia will play their only T20 international match at Lahore tomorrow. And now the news in detail. President Dr. Arif Alvi has sought a consensus name from Prime Minister Imran Khan and leader of the opposition in the outgoing National Assembly, Shahbaz Sharif, for caretaker Prime Minister. According to a letter written to the Prime Minister Imran Khan and Shahbaz Sharif by the President today, caretaker Prime Minister shall be appointed by the President in consultation with the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition in the outgoing National Assembly. It says in case the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition do not agree on any person to be appointed as caretaker Prime Minister, Minister within three days of the dissolution of the National Assembly, they will forward two nominees each to a parliamentary committee comprising eight members having equal representation from the Treasury and the opposition. According to a statement issued by the present House early this morning, Imran Khan will continue as Prime Minister till appointment of caretaker Prime Minister. President Dr. Arif Alvi had earlier approved the advice of the Prime Minister Imran Khan to dissolve the National Assembly under the Article 58.1, read with Article 48.1 of the Constitution. Chairman of PPP, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, has prayed the Chief Justice of Pakistan to constitute a full court to decide about the ruling of the Deputy Speaker on no-confidence motion and subsequent dissolution of the National Assembly. Addressing a news conference along with the leader of the other political parties, he said, no-confidence motion is a democratic way to oust Prime Minister. He said we will continue to defend the Constitution. President of PMLN, Shahbaz Sharif, said the steps taken by Prime Minister Imran Khan and his party members yesterday are contrary to the constitution. Shahbaz Sharif questioned why the matter of Article 5 was not raised when the no confidence against the Prime Minister was being tabled in the House. PTI Secretary General Asad Umar has regretted the foreign interference in the internal matters of Pakistan and horse trading in the House. Talking to the media persons in Islamabad, he asked the opposition parties as to why they are running away from the elections, challenging them to compete. Asad Umar said they are filing a disqualification reference against 20 defectors. A larger bench of the Supreme Court, headed by Chief Justice Umar Atiyah Bandial, will resume hearing of the Somoto Notice regarding the prevailing political situation in the country today in the afternoon. The court has issued notices to political parties and interior and defence secretaries in this regard. Hindutva terrorists set houses and other belongings of Muslims on fire in the Indian state of Rajasthan. Anti-Muslim violence broke out after Hindutva groups took out a bike rally in the name of celebrating the Hindu New Year through a Muslim locality in Karoli city and raised provoking slogans. Hindutva songs inciting violence against Muslims were also played on speakers during the procession. The participants of the rally passing through a Muslim-dominated area pelted stones on Muslim houses and burnt their shops and vehicles to ash. According to the police, as many as 35 people have been injured in the clashes. Mobile internet remains suspended in the area. The United Nations has called for an independent probe into the civilian killings in Pucha town of Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. In a statement, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed his deep shock over the images of dead civilians in Bucha. According to Ukrainian authorities, bodies of about 410 civilians have been recovered from areas in Kyiv region from where the Russian forces withdrew. In the United States, six people have been killed and another 20 injured in a mass shooting incident in California. Police said the shooting occurred in the city of Sacramento after a large fight broke out in its downtown area. Pakistan and Australia will play their only T20 international match at Lahore tomorrow. The match will begin at 8.30 
p.m. Earlier, Australia won the three-match test series 1-0, while Pakistan won the three-match one-day international series 2-1. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan.